Hello and welcome to another edition of Capper Comparison Picks. Today I will be giving you the Capper Comparison Picks for NCAA football, some the remaining bowl games of the year. Yeah, last four bowl games. Then we got, of course, after Ohio State dominant victory over Clemson, we have the championship game on January, I think, 11th, and that's, you know, Alabama and Ohio State. But today we are covering four bowl games. We got the Gator Bowl, the Outback Bowl, the Fiesta Bowl, and the Orange Bowl. So without further ado, let's get right into it because I don't because these start uh, within the hour. So let me get going. If you're new to my show, what I do is I take sports handicappers from across the internet. I compare their picks. And then I make my own determination and my own pick, and I present off for you to see for sports betting purposes. Okay, well, let's start out the earliest game at noon, which is roughly 50 minutes. Hopefully this will be uploaded and all that, so you can get your bets in, otherwise you have to make a live bet. Anyway, we've got the Kentucky Wildcats. They are four and six. Taking on NC State, the Wolfpack coming. They're number 23 on the in the AP poll overall. They have a record of eight and three. They are the underdogs getting two and a half points. If you get them on the money line, it's at plus 110 for NC State. Kentucky has to, they're giving up two and a half points. And on the money line, you're paying minus 130 on the juice. The total is set at 49 and a half. All right, let's see what these uh, handicappers are taking. Okay, um, I will note Kentucky has the best pass defense in the country. Okay, but they they have they can't throw though. They have a horrible passing offense. I think uh, they average. 129 yards per game this season in passing yards, Kentucky. Okay, NC State, they, um, they're they starting a backup quarterback, that has to be noted. And a lot of these bowl games, players have opted out. I'm not right on top of that. I'm just going by what I learned watching and reading the handicappers this morning. Okay, so... Taking NC State, we have from Picks and Parlays, Craig Trapp, he is one on their, uh, their stable of handicappers, he is an expert. I like Craig Trapp, always gets good picks. He's taking the underdog here. He thinks the line should be reversed, he thinks NC State should be giving up points and Kentucky should be getting points. We have a uh, stat salt, Kevin V. Um, Kevin is taking NC State to cover, or you know, and the over for Kevin V. Okay, over forty nine. Uh, winners and whiners, Scott the Steamroller Steen. Winners and whiners. He's also, Scott Steen, also taking NC State. Then uh, Mitch, of course, from Pick Dogs. I'll just put Pick Dogs. He does, I love it, because he does two, two or three minute video breakdowns quick, fast. Um, he's also taking NC State. Now this should be a full cap of consensus. However, we got my new favorite handicapper who I'm thoroughly enjoying. He's very good. The Sauce. Kyle Kerms. The Sauce. I don't know, that's his show or something. He keeps in the beginning. It's like the Sauce. The Sauce. 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 The Sauce. Anyway. Kyle Kearns is like in the number one pass defense that Kentucky has. And um, he said NC State is not just a backup because the original backup started playing weeks ago. 
Now it's the backup to the backup playing for NC State, which has me concerned. <clears throat> I don't think any of these other guys mentioned that. So I think a, a lot of these guys may have just been looking at Kentucky's record, but they have played tougher teams, but um, they've lost to them too. NC State has beat two top top 25 teams in their eight wins. And um, Kentucky, I think they played, uh, yeah, they played like four top 25 teams and lost to all four of them out of those six losses they have. So anyway, um, my feeling here, I'm going to go with the capper consensus because I don't, and they have an NC State, the record is better. I know there's different divisions here, but, uh, and they different, but uh, NC State has played some quality football teams. So I'm taking NC State with the majority of cappers. I was sold on Craig Trapp when he said the Lions are crazy, should be reversed, so jump on this. And, and I'm taking his word for it. I like Craig Trapp. So I'm taking NC State. I'm going to give the final score. Um, what we got for over unders? Uh, Kevin V is the only one that said over no oh wager talk. Sorry, forgot to mention wager talk had a show with uh, Minty Bet was it Minty Bets? I'm pretty sure it was. No, sorry, the other girl. Other um, it was Kelly Stewart had a show with uh, Steve Merrill and Tony Mejia. They neither one of them took a side. I think the the Merrill, Steve Merrill, he was lean in Kentucky, but he's not gonna bet it. But that's his lean. Um anyway, they're both taking the under 49. So I suppose that's worth writing. Wager talk. I'll just put WT and the under. So we and that's two guys there. So that's two unders and one over. Uh, I'm going to go with the under also, being that Kentucky has the number one pass defense in the country, I guess. Yeah. So I think that's going to be under. I, I got NC State winning by a score of... Um, let's say 14 to 20. That's, that sounds good, right? That's under and Wolfpack should win. Moving on. Next we have Mississippi taking on Indiana, the Hoosiers. Ole Miss comes in at four and five. They are getting nine and a half points. If you take them on the money line, plus 280. Nice payout. Indiana, 6-1 and one on the season. Playing good football this year. Um, they have to cover 9.5. Or just if you take them on the money line, the juice, little minus 360. Yuck, that's disgusting. The total set at 68. And um, all right. The, this is the Outback Bowl. This is at 12.30. So this is also, well, it's almost within an hour. By the time this uploads, it'll be within an hour. So get these bets in. All right. Miss, Ole Miss has the best offense in the SEC. However, Ole Miss has the worst defense in the entire country. I think they're ranked... 127, 127. I think that's out of 127. I heard somebody say that. One of these cappers. And um, a lot of players have opted out, I guess, from Old Miss and Indiana. Some players have opted out and the their uh, QB went down. His name is Michael Penix Jr. He's, he's out, but uh, they got this other QB, Tuttle, who will be playing. I, I mean... This is, I'm going from what I learned this morning from watching and reading these handicappers that I'm about to present to you right now. All right. Um, start with Indiana. We've got uh, oof, winners and whiners. 
Dave, or I'm sorry, Adam Rosino. Adam Rosino is taking Indiana. Then we have um, Stat Salt, Boson Aquapalu. I remember him from last, when I was doing uh, NCAA basketball last year. Boson. And who? Um, Kyle Kerms, he's on Indiana. I like, yeah, he's, he's one of my new favorites. He's so animated and he gets, he puts up the sharps versus the, uh, public, you know, the money coming in. He introduces the opening lines and the lines as of last night. He's good. Kyle Kerms. I like, man. I like. I gotta give him a shout out. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I gotta. I gotta. Whatever. I already subscribed. I don't know. I gotta, I like him. Um, who else we got? We've got Wager Talk. Dave. He's the one last night. He he got me uh, going with Ohio State. I think it was, or I don't know. But Dave Conkin. He doesn't ever pick the totals. He says he hasn't done that in years because he's horrible at Coker. Coken, is it? Dave Coken, yeah. Dave Coken. Uh, that's a Dave. It's Dave Coken. <laughs> he was on the show with, uh, who was the other guy from Wager? Um, Drew Martin. Yeah, Drew Martin. And Dave Coken. But Dave is taking Indiana as his as the side um and the only person taking Old Miss is picks and parlays all right big because he's the only one I should have wrote Kyle Kerms bigger but picks and parlays Sean Higgs he was on with uh, Melissa, or, <laughs> hold on, Messenger, what's her name? Chelsea. Chelsea Messenger. But, uh, yeah, Sean Higgs is on Old Miss. He thinks, uh, what he, he was saying, oh, Lane Kiffett, the coach there, he thinks Old Miss has more, it's going to be a, obviously, a rushing game. So they're both... Uh, I for, I forget what he said, but I know he made this. Oh, he said he made this pick on New Year's Eve, so it's a couple days old. He said if the if unless more players opt out, which I don't think they have, as of right now, he likes Old Miss's team better than Indiana. He thinks they're gonna win. So there you have that. Um, I'm gonna go with Indiana here. I mean, look, six and one against the team that's four and five. I don't I know it's just you gotta look at the records. It's the records. That's why I'm taking Indiana. And I think they should cover from what all the other guys I've seen. Let's do some over unders. The over the total set at 68. Mitch from Pick Dogs. His play was the over. So P Pick Dogs over um winners and whiners where's that guy adam he said over let's keep on the same line there and actually that was no adam did not say over that was scott steen from winners and whiners saying over um and finally bolson Acapalu, he said under he gave a side and total so we have two overs, one under. The what bothers me is the um, passing offense is horrible, Mississippi. So it's going to be a lot of running. But or no, no, I'm sorry. Old Miss has the best offense in the SEC. The they have the last defense in the country, ranked last in the country. So that's why I think. I'm gonna side with the over. I think, yeah, because of the horrible 
defense that Ole Miss has. I'm going to take the over, and I think Indiana should win handedly. I think they're going to win by, let's see, let's just throw the score up there. Ole Miss, what did they got the, what, what was their bad stat? Last in the country in defense. They're good stat. Best offense, though. That's the thing. They're the best offense in the SEC. Oh, boy. But a lot of players opted out, too. Their top, their top two receivers opted out. That's another thing. But uh, Sean Higgs knew that too when he made that when he made that pick. He's pretty much picking because of the coaching, Sean Higgs. But um, yeah, I gotta take Indiana, and I think this final score will be it's gonna be high. We'll say um, twenty-eight to. 40? 41. 28-41. 69. That's just barely over. It's good. Good enough for me. All right. Moving on. Next we have, at 4 o'clock, the Fiesta Bowl. Oregon Mighty Ducks taking on the Iowa State Cyclones. Now, let's see. Um... I don't really have many notes written on this. I just have a bunch of cappers. It's, let's go, let's throw them up there and get this four dirty. It is time check, 11.30. So I have to get this done, uploaded, so you can get that on this in. <coughs> Oregon is four and two. They are the, they're getting six points. They're the two, plus 200 underdog on the money line. Iowa State, the Cyclones are eight and three. Pretty good this season. Um, they have to cover six points. They are minus 240 on the money line. The total set at 58. Okay, let's see. From Pick Dogs. I'm Mitch from Pick Dogs. I give you more. I give the most predictions on the YouTube. He's correct. Mitch from Pick Dogs. He's going with Oregon plus the six points. And six, six and a half. I saw it change this morning. When I started writing the show, it was six, and then when right before I came over here, or it was six and a half. Right before I came over here, I had to erase the half because it dropped down. I, I noticed. Um, who else? Oh, we'll go. We'll go back and forth. Okay. Wager talk, Dave Koken. That's uh, the. Old gentleman that does not do totals, but he's he's a sharp. He's good. He's I, I have much respect for Dave Koken. Then we've got Kyle Kerms. He's saying this is a trap game because uh, no line movement. It opened at opened at four and a half, and he yeah. So he and he's taking Oregon plus the four and a half because he thinks this is a trap game, but uh, on the on the odds makers setting it up, but now it's at six and a half. So good on you, Kyle. You even got more points unless you took that bet early. Okay, uh, Stat Salt, Doug Gilchrist, Stat Salt, Doug. Gilgrist, Gilgrist. He is also on the Cyclones, covering the six and a half. And he's also saying it's going to go under. I like when they do a, to a side and total. That's nice. Um, then picks and parlays, Craig Trapp. Taken another underdog here. I think he took he picked uh, all he picked three of the four games and he took three underdogs. Um, Craig Trapp. Then finally, winners and whiners. Scott the Steamroller Steam. Winners and whiners. Scott. 
I don't know how to spell his last name. I think it's S-T-E-A-N, but I'm just going to put Scott. Okay. So it's a tie. I mean, I didn't have time to look up another handicapper because if I look up one more handicapper for this game, I'd have to look them up for this game, this game, and this game. And I, yeah, I, I didn't have time. So I'm just going to be the tiebreaker myself. I am going to have to go with... I'm taking the underdog here. I'm taking Oregon, Mighty Ducks. I know they are the weaker. I mean, they're only four and two, but um, <clears throat> I'm taking the six points for real. That's that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Is I I'm going to probably I I do multiple parlays, <clears throat> but today these centies are the only four college games going. I'm I'm going to do the one parlay. But I'm also going to do it as a teaser bet, all four games teaser. And uh, yeah, I just got a feeling Oregon, even though they might lose, they're still going to stay within the six points. Total set at 58. Um, we got only one person doing an over-under, and that was Doug Gilchrist saying under. Uh, see, this out of the four games, this is the one I least researched but um yeah i'll throw something up there let's say uh um or say 35 no yeah yeah 35 to what do i got to cover oh i'm getting six points okay 35 to No, I don't like that anymore. Now that, okay, I'm getting six points. Let's, I'm just gonna throw some numbers up here, okay? 24, 28, 24, 28. So, Iowa State's gonna win, but Oregon is gonna cover 24 and 28, that's 52, that's, under stand yeah under okay. I was right there okay finally moving on we have the night game at eight o'clock we've got the orange bowl between oh this is gonna be a banger too this is a good one both these teams are good high powered football college football teams we got uh, North Carolina coming in number 13 I'm not going to write it. Number 13. Oh, over here, Iowa State's ranked 10th. Oregon's 25th. Just decided to throw that out there. Did I miss anybody else? Indiana's 11. I already said NC State's 12, 23rd. And, and these other teams are unranked, probably because they're crappy records. But uh, here we go. North Carolina, 8-3. Number 13 on the AP Top 25. Texas A&M is number 5. They are upset that they should they weren't in the top four. They should have been there instead of Notre Dame. But Alabama already beat them up by 20. So that's why, you know, they wanted to give Alabama a good match. I don't know. Texas A&M, though, their one loss was to Alabama. There And, uh, yeah, they are the favorite. Minus 320 on the money line. They have to cover nine points. North Carolina is plus 260 if you got them winning outright. Or, or you got to take the nine points. I think it's like, I don't know, minus 110. I would just... All the, the points are usually roughly around minus 110, 105, something like that. One, at the most, 115 usually. Okay, so. Here we go. Taking... We're going to, yeah, this one comes down to a tiebreaker. So, we're gonna, we'll go back and forth on this. Okay. Taking North Carolina, the Tar Heels. We got picks and parlays. P and P, Craig Trapp. I told you he took three underdogs. And, uh... Out of the four games, he did not pick anything on Ole Miss Indiana game. He didn't. He's staying right away from it. Something smells funny about it. He doesn't like it. So, 
Um, Craig Trapp's taking North Carolina. Then taking Texas a and we have, who? Okay. Winners and Winers. The Admiral. I haven't used him since NCAA basketball last year. Okay. His name is like Admir something. Al, Al just, Al I don't know. Al I don't know. But the Admiral, just call him the Admiral from Winners and Winners. Um, then we have uh, Stat Salt. This guy, these are, this is not from YouTube, Stat Salt. And when some Winners and Winners, some, if they're on YouTube, it's going to be with Scott Steen. But if it's not Scott Steen, most likely, uh, a couple times they have other people on, but most likely it is on the internet as a uh, writ, written article, um, written breakdown article on the game. That's what this is with Statsaw. Also, Thomas Brook is the author of that breakdown, and he's taking North Carolina. That's why the, that's the difference between this, doing these, in UFC and NFL. NFL and UFC, I strictly stick to just YouTube, but NCAA, I, I jump all over. I YouTube and I look into, uh, you know, Google search predictors, predictions. And that's why I get these. They're fast, so you just, I'm a, I'm a speed reader. I can s scroll through and pick up key things. I'm good at that. Um, <clears throat> Kyle Kerms, now he was, uh, he's on Texas A&M, he, the line must have moved because he had them covering only seven and a half, but he thinks they're going to, I'm pretty, I'm safe, I'm pretty safe to say, think he's going to have them cover nine, but he had them at minus seven and a half, okay, and, you know, um, oh, Texas A&M does have the best defense in the SEC conference, statistically. And I think that is why the tiebreaker will go to Texas A&M via Wager Talk. And Wager Talk, this one was with um, Minty Betts. Yeah, this one was Minty Betts. She hosted it, and it had Teddy Covers and Rob Vino, and both those guys are on Texas A&M. So this is actually kind of like a two-capper pick, if you want to, you know, because we got Teddy Covers and Rob Vino. So there you have it. We got uh, three cappers to two taking the Aggies. And I have to also side with, in this case, oh man, any opt-outs? I don't know. That's, that's the thing. I didn't, and time check, yeah, quarter of. So, all right. I'm taking Texas A&M. Man, I don't like them to, I like them to win, but not to cover. So, so yeah, I'm taking North Carolina with the points, plus nine. Okay, sorry about that little flip, but I don't care. These are free picks from me. I don't have a Patreon or anything, so I can do what I want. Um, I'm going to take Tex, uh, North Carolina. I don't think they're, they're going to win. I think Texas A&M is going to win. I will say they'll get... Be in the th yeah sure thirty two um twenty five there you go twenty five to thirty two staying within that nine points and that will be under the sixty five points surprisingly oh I do have an over here Mitch. From Pick Dogs. Mitch. He thinks it's going to go over the 65. 
It might. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. They're good powered, but uh, because of the best defense in the SEC, I think it's going to stay under. They're going to keep, keep North Carolina at bay. All right. So there you have it. To recap, time check. Time check. 11.46. Okay, I've got, uh, <clears throat> sorry, in the Gator Bowl, I've got NC State beating Kentucky by a score of 14 to 20. Then I've got Indiana putting it on Ole Miss because of all the Ole Miss uh, opt-outs. And I think they're Get, they got struck with a little bit of uh, COVID, too. I think some of their team are out with Corona. I think I do remember hearing that. So, yeah, Indiana should be able to. That's that's pretty much my most confident bet of the four is Indiana over Old Miss. Um, then I've got uh, at 4 o'clock, I've got Oregon staying within the six points when they take on Iowa State, the Cyclones. In the uh, Fiesta Bowl. Then finally at 8 o'clock in the Orange Bowl, I've got Texas A&M beating North Carolina, but North Carolina staying within that nine points. And I also have that going under. So there you have it. Gather the info. Place the bets. And cash the tickets. I appreciate you dealing with me and my rambling and all that stuff. Um, be sure to hit that thumbs up. That keeps me going. Keeps me making videos. Subscribe if you haven't done that. The bell. That's, you know, that's always an option. I don't do these as much as I used to. I used to do them every day. Now I'm up to like, I don't know, two, three times a week. I'll do, I'm, you know what? I'm going to do NFL one later today. So hit that bell. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck on these bets and I will see you next episode.